Okay, it's recording. This is seriously taking me like five times to film. Literally. I wish I was joking. But no. Um, Memorial Day weekend. <sighs> it's really nice outside. But I'm not filming outside because there are people outside. And I don't really care what my neighbors think, but talking to myself probably will not improve the current thoughts that they might have because um, my family is kind of loud. So we like to express ourselves in loud tones, usually uh, referred to by most people as yelling, um, but we don't call it yelling, we just call it vocalizing our thoughts. Um, and <laughs> they just don't need any more impressions of, of what this family is like, you know, because, yeah, I just don't want them to see me talking to a camera. Whatever. Um, Anyway, so I'm in my car, as you probably saw by the beginning of the video with the little Honda sign. Anyway, whatever. I'm not advertising, I swear. Um, <laughs> but if... You, no, I'm just gonna forget about that. Um, Honda, buy one now. Um, yeah, Memorial Day weekend, so I went shopping with my mom, and the strip mall that we were at had a carnival. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I love carnivals. Like, seriously love them um and like i was really excited like we pulled up and i was like oh carnival we have to go like screw what other plans we had the carnival is it no we can go shopping any old day but the carnival is here to stay for today and today only which is not the case but you know i'm like crazy like when i was little oh i have a good story for you guys when i was little um we were driving home we were like two seats away it was like 11 o'clock at night. It's storming outside. Um, I look over to my left. <gasps> carnival! I'm like really young, so, you know, I have like a high squeaky voice. I'm like, oh my god, carnival! Um, and I make my dad pull over and wait the storm out so I can go to the carnival. Um, this was probably a Sunday, so my parents had work the next day. Maybe it was a Memorial Day weekend. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? But I can't verify that because my memory just doesn't work that well anymore or ever um, um but I can remember the the whole thing anyway so it was raining and stuff we went to the carnival when I was little um and I didn't even go on any of the rides I just played a dart game where you throw the darts at the balloons and then I won like something like a like a glass thing with a unicorn on it I didn't even really like unicorns as a child but it was kind of like I paid for it, because you kind of do, like, you know, you have to pay, like, whatever, the two dollars to throw the things, but you basically pay for, like, your gift, um, anyway, yeah, so, like, I really love carnivals, bottom line, I really love carnivals, um, and I still do, because I went crazy when I saw this carnival, and, um, but the thing, and I was, like, all ready to go, too, but then, like, like, a week or so ago, there was a thing on the news where people were on one of those crazy swing rides that the carnival has and it had broken down and what had happened is like when it was like shutting off it ended up lowering the people down to the ground and then still continued to go around in circles and still it finally until it finally stopped so people got like really injured and i was like sitting there well i, w I wasn't actually sitting and watching the news at that point in the day but i walked by and i was like what carnival and then i was like oh, poor people that sucks Ugh. and so you know i was like all excited today and i was like oh that story it ruined my life and so i didn't go to the carnival because i was like no what if that happens to me not that i go on the swing ride but like what if the tilt -a world broke and then we like flew off and we couldn't stop because we kept spinning the circles so hard that we went into like oncoming traffic and it was like some kind of crazy like Mario-esque scenario where we're just like bumping into things and like green mushrooms are flying everywhere and and mm -hmm, that would never happen. Things would end badly but in the yeah whatever so anyway um yeah, so I ended up not going. And then, like, it's really hot out, too. 
And also, it was like 12 or 2 or 1 or something. It was like early on. And so carnivals aren't fun that early on. Like, they're only fun for little kids. And despite the fact that I'm kind of like worried for my life, I kind of want to go later. You know? But then, like, I keep thinking, like, hmm, I'm in my early 20s, more towards mid-20s, but still, like, early 20s, and I don't know if I want to die this way in a carnival accident. Like, I kind of want to accomplish something first, and then I can die. <laughs> After several years afterwards, you know, like, that's, that's not something you want people to remember you by, like, oh, yeah, her, yeah, she died in that crazy carnival accident, remember? In 08, yeah, that was bad. That's just not, that's just not cool. Um, the reason I keep looking over here is because there's a spider on my windshield, and it's kind of freaking me out, and I keep looking at it, like, where it is, and I can't find it anymore, so it could possibly be, like, on my head right now. Probably not, but, um, yeah. So that's what keeps distracting me. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go, because this is getting kind of long.